my hunger challenge is now over. Um, I'm pretty, actually, I, I am relieved. I think for me, the hardest part about it was being so meticulous about the things that I put into each of my meals and how much those cost. And if I could have a certain number of snacks or, you know, all those, all those questions that run through your head when you get hungry um, and you're limited on the amount you can spend on food. Um, <clears throat> so just to recap, I kind of strategized before I started to make a couple of meals and uh, piece them out over the four days I was going to do the hunger challenge. And um, that strategy worked pretty well. Each of the meals was not that expensive to make and it made a lot. Um, I made the butternut squash soup and then also uh, <clears throat> big stir-fried rice. The stir-fried rice uh, lasted me about four portions, um, and the soup was about five. Uh, and then for snacks, all I really planned to do was uh, snack on apples and rice cakes. So rice cakes were just about 24 cents each, and uh, apples were actually a dollar for one apple, so I tried to only eat half an apple for a snack. Um, and that's all I really did over the couple days. I think I ate one peanut butter power bar, which was like a dollar fifty. So in comparison to a rice cake that's twenty four cents, um, makes you realize, wow, I spend so much more money than <clears throat> than I could. Um, but also, you know, I have the luxury of not having to think about it. So, and, and then I did also reach a breaking point when I wanted coffee and that was coffee and tea, um, and drinks other than water were, were one of the things that I cut out, um, during the four days. And I, I found myself wanting to go to a coffee shop and get coffee, not, not because I needed the caffeine necessarily, but just because I wanted to be out doing something, um, like my homework. But um, I guess that's a little bit how my consuming patterns shift shifted during the pro whole process. I, you know, typically I'll just make a big meal when I cook something and eat it until it's gone and then maybe go out and get something or make another big meal. Um, I don't typically plan it out like this, so um, that definitely changed. And also I eat a lot bigger snacks uh, than just a rice cake or an apple. So I did find myself kind of being hungry during the whole process um, and grumpy because I was hungry. I get really grumpy. Um, so how did the readings connect to this whole process? This week we read about subsidies and trade. Um, and I think, you know, a little bit about what I was talking or what I was saying before about, you know, an apple being 50 cents and a rice cake being 24 cents and a peanut butter power bar being $1.75. And, um, you know, what are... What are the food products in there that are being subsidized, making it 24 cents? And what is the growing process going into that 24 cents rather than maybe the nutrients and um, longer growth cycle, less subsidies of an apple? Um, what else? Yeah, and also vegetables. I did, um, in the whole process, I did harvest some carrots and beets from my garden. And uh, I, I counted those as, as free for me because I figured, at least in Seattle, low-income families have the opportunity to garden in pea patches. 
But if I hadn't counted those as free, vegetables are much more expensive in the grocery store, especially I went shopping at PCC, so especially there. Um, things that are higher in nutrients and, you know, um, maybe higher in nutrients and less filling, um, I would notice tend to cost more. Um, what surprised me? I was surprised at how much I craved going to that coffee shop and how much I felt restricted by keeping track of all of the food that I was, and the cost of the food that I was eating because typically I, um, I don't feel like I, like I do that badly in, uh, the grocery department. Although food is one thing that I will spend a lot of money on. Um, so yeah, I guess that, what did I learn from it? One last question. Um, I learned that it really does take a lot of energy to think about everything that you're putting into your body and the amount of money that it will cost. Um, it's tiring in and of itself and to think about doing that with possibly two jobs and five kids and whatever else, you know, people on food stamps have to do deal with on a regular basis. It's, it just feels exhausting. Um, and yeah, and I think that's a big reason why, or at least I can commiserate that that might be a big reason why families in low-income situations go to McDonald's and shop the dollar menu or, you know, go to Safeway and buy a lot of cheap products um, that are highly subsidized. Um, anyway, I feel like the hunger challenge has given me a lot to ponder. And I look forward to seeing everybody else's experiences. Peace out.